All right, welcome back. As you can see, I'm looking at the purchases uh, for my cloud account. See, so there's a little cloud icon over here. Uh, and it says that I have 613 purchases. I can download them all right here with this uh, little button at the lower right hand side. I'm not going to waste your time with my music. What I'm really concerned about is my apps. Okay, so my apps. And this is going to work the same way whether it's apps or music or movies or anything really. I'm going to go ahead and click on apps and now it's going to pull up iPhone or iPad apps and I'm going to click on iPad and say download all because what I want to do is get all those apps uh, from the internet from the iTunes store that I've already purchased maybe they were free uh, maybe they cost money and I want all those to be put back into my uh, into my apps menu right over here on the upper left hand side of my iTunes store okay so it's going to start downloading all those apps and you can see they'll start to pop in here in just a minute. They're going to spring up maybe three at a time. I'm going to go ahead and pause that big movie. I don't need to download that right now. There we go. That's going to start popping up all those apps. Now I've got about 150 apps that are going to need to be downloaded. So I'm not going to waste your time um, watching those. But instead, instead, I'm going to go ahead and go over to my devices. Now this is where it gets to be very important. If you're looking at... Uh, if you're looking at getting a, if you're looking at getting a uh, iPad for your personal use, or if you're an instructional leader here in the Lower Yukon School District, you're going to have an iPad, okay, and you're going to have apps. The way it works is the apps that are associated with your uh, user account from the iTunes Store are going to be what's on your iPad. Now, I would recommend that you just use your computer as a server. Use your computer as the downloading device. That will, that will get all of those apps and then simply plug your iPad in and sync that iPad to this particular library, this particular iTunes library that's on your computer. Now, if you're a, an employee, if you're a teacher, for example, you can feel free to use this as a server, use this, uh, this iTunes library as your kind of your repository. Uh, don't worry about uh, locking up your iPad for life. If you're to leave the district, it's no big deal. You can resync your iPad at any time. Now I'm going to go ahead and sync up this iPad with my own user account. Let's hit continue. And it's going to ask me what my information is. There's all my information. Says it's synced with another iTunes library. Now, if you get this message and you're uh, an instructional leader in the Lower Yukon School District, it says you can only have one iTunes library at a time. What would you like to do? This is very important. I would like for you to erase and sync that iPad. What that means is you're going to wipe out everything that was on it and put just your own stuff on it. I'm going to say don't transfer because you never know who purchased what on that iPad previous to you. And no, you cannot overlap. You cannot use some of theirs and some of yours. Uh, that's not possible. So I'm going to say don't transfer. If you were to transfer, if you were to transfer, what that would do is it would require you to sign into their iTunes account to be able to use that particular app. Just like if you were to, uh, let's say, get music off of someone else's iPhone and try to put that on your iPod or vice versa you would have to sign into their account to make use of that information, those songs, those files. Okay, so now I'm in my iPad here, and this is where we're gonna manage all of the data. This is where we're gonna manage all of that content. So iTunes is really where you're gonna control the content of your iPad, update the iOS, and manage the device. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here if you wanna take a break, and we'll come back and pick up there where we left off.